Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. And Marianne behind the camera. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. Sister girl, I think we need a drink. We sure do. <laughs> well, welcome to Cavalcade Cocktails. Um, and, Mayor, we're going to make a drink today that is another sort of classic um, in its original form, and that is the daiquiri. Um, and I know a lot of us are familiar with versions of the daiquiri that are made in a blender with ice and fruit, strawberry daiquiri, banana daiquiri, um, pineapple daiquiri, and those are all wonderful. But the daiquiri began uh, as a drink to um, basically celebrate rum and uh, a fairly simple drink as it goes. So we're going to go back to the original daiquiri, okay, Mayor? Okay. And um, give that a try. So there's basically only a, a few ingredients. You need a light rum, okay? So rum comes in light, dark, and spiced. And this is the light rum, okay, which is almost clear. As a matter of fact... It's almost gone. It's almost gone. The last time I looked at this bottle, there was quite a bit more rum in here. Do you know anything about this? Um, why are you accusing me? <laughs> I'm just asking the questions. Uh, anyways, okay. So, uh, and simple syrup. And uh, as I think some of our food friends know, Marianne, I make my own simple syrup out of uh, equal parts sugar and water. Um, and I always keep that on hand. And most importantly is lime juice, okay? So I've got a lime here. Isn't that a beaut? Yes, it is. So um, here's something to note. One, whenever you're making a cocktail that calls for lemon juice or lime juice, fresh really makes a difference. I know you can buy the kind in the bottle and the little plastic lime or lemon that's reconstituted, not really the same. Fresh lime juice, um, in this case, really makes all the difference. So get yourself a beautiful lime. The other thing is we want to use a lime for a garnish as well. We're going to use the lime peel, which is really where there's a lot of flavor. So since we're going to juice this lime, and once we juice it, it's going to be all smushed up, Mayor. So you know what? Let's go ahead and get some of our peel right now. I'm going to try using a vegetable peeler to just peel off a few pieces of that outer, oh my gosh, you can smell the, the lime because the oils that are in the rind. So we're gonna just, now's the time to do that if you want, okay? You don't want that white pith, you just want this nice, can you smell that lime there? Yes, I can. Yeah, okay. So the other thing is when you're juicing a lemon or a lime, you want it at room temperature okay because it will um, release more of its juice I also give it a little roly-poly here on the counter just to kind of loosen it up and then we're going to cut this lime in half and look at that mare I don't even see any seeds in there do you no but you can see this lime particularly has a very thin skin. I'm going to use this little juicer here over a, a measuring cup to sort of get out the juice. We want about an ounce of lime juice. Hard to say how much I'm going to get out of this lime. But certainly will be plenty for the drink. 
There it is. Almost a quarter cup of juice out of that one line. Okay, so that's good. So let's put our garnish aside. So now we have our ingredients, okay? So we are going to shake this up, baby, okay? So we're going to put some ice here in our shaker. I'm going to put some ice in our cocktail glass because that will help get that nice and cold. And we got our measuring. Oh, you know what? <laughs> it is amazes me how our food friends see these little details in the kitchen and that catches their eye. And I know there's always a lot going on. Um, and so many people have asked me, what is this spoon rest? Can you get a good shot of that, honey? We call them Frenchy, don't we, Mayor? Yes, we do. Oh, 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 different chef. So this is just a fun little plastic spoon rest from the 50s uh, that I love. And there he's got, you've got Pierre on there, our French chef. And he's really cute. Anyways, so that's what that is. Um, let's get back to our daiquiri. So we're going to start with one and a half ounces of light rum. Okay. There we go. And then we're going to put in three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Okay? Then a little bit of sweet. We're going to put in, depending, at least a half an ounce or you can go up to three quarters of an ounce if you like it on the sweeter side of your simple syrup. But a half ounce, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. If you don't have simple syrup, you can use some powdered sugar here. A good heaping teaspoon of powdered sugar would be good. All right, so now you know what we got to do, Mayor? Shake, shake it up. It. Shake it, shake it, shake it. You know, this combines the ingredients and gets it nice and chill. Okay, there we go. Then we have our chilled out cocktail glass here. Let me get my strainer. And we are going to pour our daiquiri into our cocktail glass. And we're going to garnish here. Whoop with a little lime. I can never make those little curly cues, but that's the idea. There it is. Beautiful. The classic, traditional daiquiri. Here's to you, sis. Oh, that's nice. You know, it's almost, to me, the traditional daiquiri Mare is almost like a rum sour. You know how like a whiskey sour? Sort of the sweet and sour with the whiskey? I sure do. <laughs> well, this is the same thing. You've got the tart from the lime juice, and you've got the sweet from the syrup, and the rum. Oh, that's nice. So there it is. Classic daiquiri. Mmm, 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 mmm. So, we'll say, let's say cheers to my sister for working the camera. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. And cheers to our food friends, Mayor. Um, and we hope everyone is doing well, staying warm. Uh, we are in the thick of winter here, at least in Michigan. Although it's been surprisingly mild today, and we're going to take it, aren't we? Yes. 
and um, remind will remind people of the website, which is cavalcadeoffood.com. The recipe for the daiquiri is below the video. Always appreciate your comments, and thank you for watching. And we'll look forward to seeing you again real soon, right back here on Cavalcade of Food. Cheers, everybody.